Hello beautiful people, it is Davina, also known as the London Curls, and I am back with a much requested skincare routine. After my makeup tutorial, a lot of people are asking me how I keep my skin so clear. So here is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so we're going to start at night time because this is when the real magic happens. I tie my hair back and I use lukewarm water on my face, and then I use Dudu Osan African Black Soap. I cannot speak highly about this product enough. My sister bought it out to me in Dubai. It's really cheap, full of natural ingredients, and it really, really cleans my skin. It's really good for acne prone skin. However, it can be quite drying. So always make sure that you've got a moisturizer that works well for you after. I just use it all over my face, avoiding the eye area just because I've had it go in my eye before and it burns like crazy. And then I use my Michael Todd Sonic Clear Petite this is amazing at keeping my skin really clean. It's got three different settings which you can customize to yourself and it's really good at just getting in deeper, exfoliating the skin. It's antimicrobial, so that means that it gets rid of any of that smelly bacteria that's on your face. So I use this once a day. I don't use it in the morning as well because it can be a bit too irritating for my skin. Once a day, I just feel like it makes my skin feel really fresh and clean. Whereas when I've tried to use it twice a day, it can be a little bit too harsh, but I love this. It definitely makes my skin feel really, really clean. And I use water after that to wash it off. Then I go in once a week with the Michael Todd facial scrub. This is just to kind of give my skin that little bit extra exfoliating. You just need to use a tiny amount. And I specifically go for around my nose where I might get blackheads and so on. It's really fine. That's what I like about it. I used to use St. Ives, you know, that one with loads of big apricot pieces. And honestly, every week I'd get it in my eye and it would just blind me. So I love the fact it's fine. It leaves my skin feeling really clean and it's good for sensitive skin as well then i use my favorite thing in the world which is coconut oil this is the only moisturizer i use on my face it leaves my skin so moisturized it is antibacterial antifungal so it can treat skin conditions such as um, ringworm not that i'm expecting many of you to have that on your face but still it's also really good for if you do have wrinkles developing on your face i'm 26 i haven't yet got wrinkles but i do try and incorporate into my routine every night to really massage the oil into my face just to make sure that it absorbs in nicely and it avoids those wrinkles forming in the first place and it just just gives my skin a really dewy glow it does make me look greasy and a bit crazy for a while after i've applied it to my skin but it absorbs in after about 20 minutes then i use jamaica Brett castor oil now i do love this stuff but the reason for using it still annoys me i had a really bad experience with someone that just messed up my eyebrow so i've been using it to grow it back which has been working as you can see so what I do is I put a tiny dab on my finger. It's much thicker than the coconut oil. So I just put that onto my eyebrows, massage it in on both sides. Then with a Q-tip, I just go around the edge. Because it is thick, it can cause spots, so I don't want it to be all over the place. And that's me done. Here I am, looking greasy, feeling great, a bit wet, a bit sweaty, but this is how I go to bed. And when I wake up, my skin is clear. So what I use when I do wake up is witch hazel. This is amazing at being an anti astringent Again, good for clearing away bacteria and dirt. I use this before going to the gym. So I just grab some of this. This is great for if you have ingrown hairs and stuff as well. I just wipe it around my face. And when I'm back from the gym, I start washing my face again. So I do this before I get in the shower. I use water. Again, I use African black soap. But like I said, I don't use the Sonic Clear in the morning. I just use my hands, I lather it up with my hands with warm water and then once I finish lathering it up, I can just wash it away. And then, surprise, surprise, after I've washed my face and while it's still wet, I use coconut oil, my favourite thing. And again, pour a tiny amount on and then I wipe it on my face. Now the reason why I do this before I get in the shower is because when I go in the shower it will open up my pores, it means that the coconut oil absorbs into my skin a bit better. Avoid getting it all over your top like me. Now I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna go clean, I'm gonna go wash off the dirt, wash off the smell, wash off the sweat, and then, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I like to use African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash from Sheer Moisture. It's really good for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but I don't like harsh chemicals a lot of the time, so this works really well. And it exfoliates my skin because it contains small bits of oats. I use that with my exfoliating gloves. And then, yes, while my skin is still wet, I use my favorite thing, which is coconut oil. I am a weirdo, I don't use towels. I use the coconut oil, I let that sink in my skin, 
And once that's dry, I use Palmer's because I've used it all of my life. And at the moment, I've got this beautiful smelling body cream that some of my students in Dubai gave me. So I use a mixture of the two and I just use it on my skin, walk around until that's all soaked in. And then I use Dove Invisible. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that you shouldn't use deodorants, it's not good for you, but this works really well for me. It doesn't leave any marks on my clothes. And then I use one of these three perfumes. Um, my favorite perfume is actually an Yves Saint Laurent perfume, but these three were given as gifts from students and I'm cheap. So until they've run out, I'm not going to be buying new perfume. I like the smells and I will choose one depending on how I feel each day. And that is it. So that is my skincare routine. This is how I keep my skin clear and fresh and moisturized. I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, it does tend to look quite nice because my skin underneath is moisturized and doesn't cause me problems. Uh, let's get rid of these braids, shall we? Mm, not the one. There we go. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it.